Some people believe that the universe is the result of an awesome succession of accidents. But I can't believe that all of this just happened. It must have been the result of some kind of miracle. And if there was a miracle, then there must be some miracle worker. As a matter of fact, for those who are perceptive, the discoveries of modern science only affirm the miracle and lead us to gaze in reverent awe into the wonders of this world around us. Some greater reality, one too great to be contained within our little thoughts and doctrines, must have made all this happen. That is the message of our first reading. God created and creation itself witnesses to the reality of the Creator. It is an important message for those who are feeling lost and alone in a world that seems flat and indifferent. It awakens within us a deep yearning to get in touch with some greater reality that can give all of this some meaning. While our skeptical culture tells us that the only things that are real are things that can be seen or touched, our faith tells us that the very existence of the things we see and touch points to the existence of some other reality, an invisible reality that brought all of this into being and keeps it working. Such faith in creation is not all that we need to bring us into a life-fulfilling relationship with God, but it is a starting place for many. At least it helps us to see when we are inclined to doubt that there is something or someone out there, someone with whom we must have some kind of a relationship. Still, the apparent conflicts between science and religion continue to torment many people. Science demands evidence based on things that you can see and touch before it will claim proof of anything. Religious people, on the other hand, learn a lot from experience and from revelation. But science and religion can become so imprisoned within their own ways of thinking that they cannot appreciate the other's way of thinking. There are lots of competent scientists who practice the scientific method in their work, but who are spiritual persons in their lives as a whole. They are open to experience and revelation. These people often find in the discoveries of science ever-expanding demonstrations of the reality of God. It moves many of them to great reverence. David Wilkerson is a clergyman as well as an accomplished scientist who has won recognition for his work in the field of astronomy. When he was asked to address an assembly of church leaders from around the world, he responded with a multimedia presentation that he prepared just for that purpose. The tape started with a picture of a young family enjoying a picnic in a park. Then the camera withdrew into space, showing increasingly broad perspectives on the surroundings of that family in the park. The viewers were shown the rest of the city, then the countryside, and the various ecosystems that were surrounding that family. The camera continued to withdraw until it showed the Earth spinning in its delicate balance of motion and gravity with all of the other planets. It continued to withdraw until it showed the other galaxies that surround our solar system. And finally, it incorporated the most recent pictures sent back by the Hubble telescope of distant galaxies, just this side of the unknown infinity that is beyond. Then the camera returned by stages to that family in the park, but it didn't stop there. Its journey was not over. It seemed to move into the bodies of these family members, exploring the intricate systems that worked to keep them alive. It explored the cell structure of their bodies, the DNA that transmitted genetic characteristics, and finally, the atomic structure of the matter of which everything is made. When you watch this video, you are caught up in awe of creation and the witness that creation makes. It is true that if we have too small a concept of God, we might be forced by the findings of science to stretch our understanding but an astronomer gazing into his telescope and recalling the psalmist who said, when I look at your heavens, the work of your hands, 
the moon and the stars that you have established. What are human beings that you are mindful of them, mortals that you care for them? That astronomer might find his reverence for creation deepened, not diminished. Creation bears witness to the existence of the creator. That can change the way we think about a lot of things. For instance, one who has grown accustomed to living by their senses alone may find it hard to believe that there is anything more for us after death. But one who sees the tangible world as a witness to the creator is more likely to think, if God created all this and gave us life in this world, then God can certainly do whatever God chooses to do with us beyond this life. The most important thing that we can learn from the witnesses of creation is that there is someone who gave being to the things we can see and touch, and that is a good starting place in our relationship with God. Let us now join our prayers together in thankful praise to God for the continuing gifts of creation that we may have the faith to trust that God will act to bring all creation to his glory, we pray to the Lord. Lord that God will be our guide and our strength as we live and care for this world around us, we pray to the Lord. Lord that firmly rooted in prayer, we will find positive ways to serve God in his creation, we pray to the Lord. Lord that we may work hard to be good witnesses of the faith for others so that they may come to know the creator of all things. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Almighty Father, thank you for the simple gifts of life. Help us to see you in the beauty and goodness of this earth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Through the mission of this water and wine, may we who share in Christ's humanity come to share in his divinity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit to the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God for us. Lord God, we ask you to see the gifts we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. 